fluoride removal, implications for America's water. Former President Donald Trump has hinted at a controversial proposal to remove fluoride from public water supplies across the United States if re-elected. This potential shift in water policy, inspired by recommendations from Robert F. Kennedy Jr., could have far-reaching implications for public health and dental care in America. With fluoridation being a cornerstone of U.S. public health for over 70 years, this proposal has ignited debates about its benefits and potential risks. As we delve into this complex issue, we'll explore the history of water fluoridation, examine the arguments for and against its continuation, and consider how this decision could impact everyday Americans. By Nick Kalos. The History of Water Fluoridation in America. Public water systems in the U.S. begin adding fluoride to prevent cavities and promote dental health. This marks the beginning of a nationwide effort to improve oral health through water treatment. 2. Fluoridation gains support from major health organizations like the American Dental Association and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It spreads to cities and towns across the country. 3. The CDC names water fluoridation one of the top 10 public health achievements of the 20th century, citing its role in dramatically reducing tooth decay rates. While about 73% of Americans have access to fluoridated water, debates continue about its safety and effectiveness, leading to reconsideration in some areas. The science behind fluoride's dental benefits, enamel strengthening remineralization. Fluoride helps rebuild weakened tooth enamel, making teeth more resistant to acid attacks from plaque bacteria and sugars in the mouth. It aids in reversing early stages of tooth decay by promoting remineralization, a process where minerals are redeposited in tooth enamel. Bacteria inhibition, long-term protection fluoride, interferes with the ability of plaque bacteria to produce acid, helping to prevent tooth decay at its source. When children ingest fluoride through water, it becomes part of their developing permanent teeth, providing lifelong protection against cavities. Concerns raised by fluoride critics. 1. Some studies suggest long-term fluoride exposure might weaken bones, potentially increasing fracture risk, especially in the elderly. Critics argue this could lead to higher rates of osteoporosis and related bone disorders. 2. Recent research has raised questions about fluoride's impact on brain development in young children. Critics point to studies linking higher fluoride exposure to lower IQ scores, though the scientific community remains divided on these findings. 3. Some health advocates argue that excessive fluoride exposure may contribute to thyroid dysfunction and kidney problems, particularly in individuals with pre-existing conditions or compromised health. 4. Critics also raise ethical questions about mass medication through public water supplies, arguing that it infringes on personal choice and bodily autonomy. Trump's stance on fluoride removal, initial response potential policy shift decentralization approach. Trump stated that removing fluoride from water sounds okay to him, indicating an openness to the idea proposed by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. This aligns with his general approach of questioning longstanding policies and reducing perceived government overreach. If re-elected, Trump could potentially support federal-level recommendations to remove fluoride from public water supplies. This would mark a significant departure from decades of established public health policy in the United States. Trump's stance suggests a potential move towards decentralizing control over water fluoridation, possibly leaving the final decision to state and local authorities. This could lead to a patchwork of fluoridation policies across the country. Potential benefits of fluoride removal, reduced health risks, removing fluoride, could potentially lower health risks for sensitive individuals. Addressing concerns about bone, thyroid, and kidney issues linked to excessive fluoride exposure. Increased individual control. Without fluoridated water, people would have more control over their fluoride intake, relying on sources like toothpaste or prescription treatments for dental health. Enhanced public trust. Addressing public skepticism about fluoride safety could potentially increase trust in government handling of public health issues, particularly among those concerned about mass medication. Stimulated research removing fluoride could spur more research into alternative methods of promoting dental health, potentially leading to new innovations in oral care. Potential drawbacks of fluoride removal. Increased dental health issues. One without fluoridated water. There could be a rise in cavities and other dental problems, particularly in children and low-income communities where access to dental care is limited. Widening health disparities. Two, removing fluoride could exacerbate existing inequalities in dental health outcomes, potentially creating a larger gap between those who can afford regular dental care and those who cannot. Economic impact on healthcare. Three higher rates of dental decay could lead to increased healthcare costs, particularly for public health systems that cover low income populations. This could strain already stretched healthcare budgets. Long term public health consequences. Four, the removal of a long standing public health measure could have unforeseen long term consequences on overall population health, potentially affecting other areas beyond just dental health. Global perspectives on water fluoridation. Country fluoridation status reasoning. United States widespread considered a major public health achievement. Canada mixed, 
Ongoing debate about health impacts on children, United Kingdom partial, decision made by local authorities, Germany no fluoridation ethical concerns, about mass medication, Netherlands no fluoridation public opposition, and environmental, alternative approaches to dental health, fluoride supplements, school-based programs dietary recommendations, countries without water fluoridation often promote the use of fluoride supplements, such as tablets or drops, especially for children in high-risk groups. These allow for more targeted fluoride administration. Many nations implement school-based dental health programs including regular checkups, fluoride varnish applications, and education on proper oral hygiene practices to compensate for the lack of fluoridated water. Some countries focus on dietary guidelines to promote dental health, emphasizing low-sugar diets and the consumption of foods that naturally support tooth enamel, such as dairy products rich in calcium and phosphates. The role of fluoride in child development. Fluoride intake helps form strong tooth buds for future permanent teeth. However, excessive fluoride at this stage can lead to dental fluorosis. 2. As children start brushing independently, fluoridated water provides a consistent low-dose supplement to toothpaste, crucial for cavity prevention in developing teeth. 3. Fluoride continues to play a vital role in protecting both baby and permanent teeth during this cavity-prone period of mixed dentition. 4. With all permanent teeth in place, fluoride helps maintain strong enamel during a time when dietary habits and oral hygiene may fluctuate. Economic Implications of Fluoride Removal Increased dental treatment costs water treatment savings. Without fluoridated water, there could be a rise in cavities, leading to higher dental treatment costs for individuals and insurance providers. This could particularly impact low-income families and public health systems. Removing fluoride from water treatment processes could result in some cost savings for municipal water systems. However, these savings might be offset by increased health care costs. Economic burden on schools impact on dental industry schools might face increased costs for implementing dental health programs to compensate for the lack of fluoridated water, potentially straining education budgets. The dental care industry could see increased demand for services and products, potentially leading to job growth but also higher costs for consumers. Environmental Considerations of Fluoridation 1. Some areas have naturally occurring fluoride in their water supplies. Removing added fluoride could align water treatment more closely with natural mineral compositions in certain regions. 2. Studies on the effects of fluoridated water on aquatic life have shown mixed results. Some research suggests potential impacts on certain fish species, while other studies show minimal environmental consequences. 4. The long-term environmental impacts of decades of water fluoridation are still being studied, with ongoing research into potential accumulation in soil and plants. 3. Water treatment processes. Removing fluoride from water treatment could simplify some aspects of the process, potentially reducing the use of certain chemicals and energy consumption in treatment plants. Preparing for potential changes in water fluoridation. Consult your dentist's use fluoride products. Discuss alternative fluoride sources or treatments with your dentist to maintain optimal dental health if water fluoridation is discontinued in your area. Incorporate fluoride containing toothpaste and mouthwash into your daily oral care routine to ensure adequate fluoride intake for dental health. Focus on diet. Stay informed. Adopt a tooth-friendly diet low in sugars and high in calcium-rich foods to support dental health naturally, compensating for the potential loss of fluoridated water. Keep up with local water policy changes and new dental health research to make informed decisions about your family's oral care practices, the future of dental health in America, technological advancements, alternative treatments, education and prevention, emerging technologies like nanosensors for early cavity detection, and 3D printed dental implants could revolutionize dental care potentially mitigating the impact of reduced fluoridation, research into natural remineralization agents and probiotic treatments for oral health could offer new avenues for cavity prevention, complementing or replacing traditional fluoride treatments. Advanced educational tools, including VR and AI-powered apps, could enhance public understanding of oral health, leading to improved preventive care practices regardless of fluoridation status.